Hello guys, it's Viola here. In today's video, we're playing Super League Soccer and I'll be teaching you guys how to become a pro striker and all the tips needed to do it in detail. So there's nothing you'll miss in this video. If you're interested in Surf FC, my team, the link to our Discord is in the description below. We welcome all into our community. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel and let's hit 10 likes this video. Let's get right into it. First off, we have basic shooting skills with effective shots. Ground shot and the lob are the two basics which as a pro, centre forward, you must have these down no matter what. These two shots are shots you shouldn't be missing if you want to be a pro striker, but remember to also practice effective shots like the chip which can easily get over the goalkeeper and allow for an easy goal in the right position or the low volley that zooms past the goalkeeper with overwhelming power. Continue to practice the basics, advance onto skills like the bicycle kick, but if you don't know you don't have a certain percentage on a shot, don't go on to the advanced version. version. What I mean by this is, if you know you can't make at least 7 out of 10 shots on your ground pass or your ground shot, there's no point of you going to learn the low volley. It's the same thing with the lob. If you can't make 7 out of 10 lobs, why are you learning the chip? You need to get the basics down and then you can learn the advanced movements. So yeah, first off, you need your basic shooting skills with one or two effective shots of your choice. It can be personal to you. I like to use the chip. Some people like to use the low volley. Some people like to use the bicycle kick. But me, I like to use the chip and the low shot, the ground shot the most. That's what is so special to me as a striker. We'll see how you guys develop your game in the future. But follow these basic tips. This is tip number one. Let's move on to the next one. Our second tip on this list is basic dribbling skills. Be able to get past at least a one-on-one. -on -one. This would be the last defender or maybe the goalkeeper. This is important because as the closest one to the enemy goal, you're going to have to be able to perform in traffic and through multiple defenders. But one-on-one -on -one is always a good start. I recommend going to pro fixtures if they are hosting something like that or hosting scrimmages or practice with any of your pro friends. Even if you just have to go in the Discord, go in the Discord, find someone, pick them up and play with them. You need to do this because this will allow you to create a pro level dribbling style you're not going to get better if you keep destroying noobs in public servers because when you finally get to the good people who are not in public servers who are not playing um like a noob league then you're going to get absolutely smoked by them so i recommend to you play with these good people practice a dribbling style there's many out there on youtube there's many you can find i might even make my own one if you guys want to see that, remember to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let's go on to the next tip. Tip number three, positioning is key. Always be in space for a pass towards you so you can make the play easier for your wingers or midfielders to pass to you. But don't position awkwardly. When I say awkwardly, I've seen guys position in the other like team's goal, like right in the very corner. You're not a winger. Stay in your roundabout position, but always position unexpectedly so the opposition can't read your next move make it an obvious um position for the people who are looking at you which is your team but the opposition who are guarding you who have their backs turned to you they won't be able to see that so give your team a good op um, opportunity to pass to you and that'll turn out perfectly although positioning is something you learn with experience and over time I would advise for starters that you position right outside the goalkeeper's box but you'll find something else different in your career as you go on and play the game. So yeah, let's move on to tip number four. Tip number four is read the game and anticipate ball movement. Now I personally think this tip is the most difficult tip out of all of the tips I've given today. It's easy to shoot. But when it gets harder in soccer is when you have to understand the game itself and this is something you'll get with experience and time but I'll give you a few examples regardless so you guys can understand what I mean by read the game. So here's an example, let's say you're a striker, that means there's a left back and there's a right back of the other team next to you. Now if you look behind you that's going to be your centre mid isn't it? Okay so let's say their left back has gone to go attack your center mid with their center mid that means your left 
your left forward is now open to pass the ball your center mid now gives it to your left forward your left forward now gives it to you it would make you might think in your mind oh yeah chip over to me pass over to me to your center mid but if it goes straight one of two things could happen it could be intercepted even if it's a lob it could go lag and go through to the enemy goalkeeper but if you give it to your left forward who's open he can make a side pass to you which is the most secure pass in the game and then you can make a good play out of that that's three passes you'll get extra points for teamwork you see what i'm trying to say guys like this type of brain this type of um thinking is what you need as a striker you need to read the game and anticipate ball movement it's this type of creative thinking which allows you to position really really well and allows you to do everything else very very well so yeah let's move on to our next tip tip number five which i find the most important is to build up experience in your position there's nothing that beats experience continually practicing if you really want to be the best as it will create consistent gameplay and before you know it the chips and dribbling positioning reading the game that you found so hard at the start will be easy for you thank you guys for watching the video remember to like comment and subscribe hit the bell for more content and if you have any content you'd like to see me make feel free to comment down below all my social links will be in the description god bless y'all and peace